officials that are, are immediately involved in investigations and, and make a choice not to talk to the police. Champaign police have faced numerous challenges. Officials have caseloads of shooting crimes to investigate in a year filled with an increase in gun violence. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. Police are closing in on what they describe as a very violent year when it comes to gun crime. WCI 3's Jennifer Jensen is live in our newsroom for us tonight. So Jennifer, you talk to police. What else do they have to say? Jessica, there's been a significant increase in shootings so far this year compared to last. When we talk to people at each shooting scene, they ask us many questions about what police are finding in their investigations. So tonight, we spoke with Champaign police to get their perspective on the severity of these cases. You live in fear every day because actually it's going on a lot. People have heard gunshots outside their homes. Some hold on to their loved ones, hoping nothing bad will happen to them. It's not safe. It's just not safe. In Champaign, there were 100 shooting incidents in 2019. This year to date, there have been 171 shooting incidents. Seven people have been killed by gunfire, ranging from ages 16 to 34. The amount of shootings has been problematic this year. Lieutenant Matthew Henson with CPD says they can't can't pinpoint a widespread connection between all of the shootings. There's no isolated event or one major theme we can look to that says this is the catalyst for all of these shootings, unfortunately. So that makes it more complex as we investigate these because we do have to look at them individually. A lingering question people have at many shooting scenes is where people get the guns. Some people may obtain firearms through family members that have FOID cards. Some firearms could be obtained through illegal means, whether they're bought off the street or uh, stolen maybe in a burglary or a, a burglary to motor vehicle. For the families of those who were killed, it's been devastating. That's why Maurice Hayes founded an outreach group called Hood Vision Neighborhood Transformation. The community in itself is hurting because it's too prominent now. We got to learn how to heal from those wounds, close those wounds as best that we can, then figure out a better way and a better solution to come together. His team works with families affected by gun violence to comfort them and to mentor people who could get involved in shootings themselves. We try to show them that even through the worst situation and circumstances, you can still be successful, you can still be greater than what your circumstances are, you can still be a person that doesn't conform to the negativity that's so, so prevalent around us. Champaign police said this year they've had more officers patrolling the neighborhoods that experience the most gun violence. But they say one of the most important things people can do to help solve these crimes is to work with officials if you have information about what happened. This can be done anonymously through Crime Stoppers or by contacting police directly. In the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jensen, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Jennifer, thanks for breaking that down tonight.